Nobody likes being trash talked. But it's especially unpleasant when you and your trash talker are both high profile celebrities. Add in that we're essentially talking about workplace disputes between directors and actors, and it becomes a multi layered personal and professional attack. Here are some directors who publicly dissed their actors J.J. Abrams on Daisy Ridley. It was a shock when Daisy Ridley, who starred as Rey in Star Wars The Force Awakens, told Glamour UK that J.J. Abrams called her out on her first day of shooting, criticizing her performance as wooden in front of cast and crew. As for why Abrams may have been a little tactless with his criticism, it could be the enormous responsibility of Disney's $4 billion investment in this franchise reboot resting on his shoulders. Kevin Smith on Bruce Willis No other director has gone out of his way to trash an actor like Kevin Smith did with Bruce Willis. Smith's taken to podcasts, live stage shows, and Twitter to call out Willis. Smith's beef in this? While filming Cop Out, Willis couldn't have cared less and went out of his way to make the production difficult for everyone. Why did you smack me? On Mark Maron's WTF podcast, Smith said the experience was, quote, soul crushing. Michael Bay on Megan Fox. Michael Bay didn't turn on Megan Fox until after she compared him to Hitler in a magazine interview. After that, Bay was free to not only fire and replace Fox for the third Transformers movie, but to tell GQ, quote, I'm sorry, Megan, I'm sorry I made you work 12 hours. Movies are not always warm and fuzzy. They eventually reconciled with Fox starring as April O'Neil in Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles in 2014, which Bay produced. Paul Schrader on Lindsay Lohan Paul Schrader took a chance casting the troubled Lindsay Lohan in The Canyons, a low-budget erotic thriller. At every opportunity, Lohan held up production with insane demands and erotic behavior. She clashed with co-star James Dean and even forced Schrader to strip naked in front of the crew because she had to do the same thing for a love scene. In the end, Schrader wouldn't admit to regret over her casting, but he did throw a jab over whether he'd cast her in something else, musing, quote, It doesn't involve a co-star. She'd be perfect for it. Stephen Norrington on Sean Connery The League of Extraordinary Gentlemen was such a difficult production that it ended the careers of both its director and its star. Connery endlessly told the press what an idiot he thought Norrington was, never acted again, and Norrington vowed to never direct another film. And this was only his fourth movie, following the massive success of his work on the original Blade. Vincent Gallo on Christina Ricci After their time working together on the 1998 road movie Buffalo 66, director and star Vincent Gallo called co-star Christina Ricci ungrateful and accused her of being an alcoholic, or that, quote, she was on cough syrup the whole time. More than 15 years later, Ricci responded when asked about Buffalo 66 on HuffPost Live. But and now I spent most of that movie trapped in, in a car with a, a raving lunatic. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to our YouTube channel to watch more videos like the one you just saw. And leave us a comment to let us know which feud you think is the nastiest.